Hey, what's up, boxing fans? Miguel Maravilla here with you, bringing you a preview of this 126-pound card, the featherweight division doubleheader on ESPN, as you have Luis Alberto El Venado Lopez taking on Rhea Abe, as Lopez will be defending his IBF title. And then you have, in the co-feature, you have uh, Otave Kolmatov and Raymond Ford squaring off for the vacant WBA 126 title. The 126-pound division has always had excitement. There have always been good fights in this division. There's always been great champions. From uh, Barrera, Morales, Pacquiao, Juan Manuel Marquez, all using uh, this division for uh, a step to greatness. You've also had most recently Shakur Stevenson and Oscar Valdez who have uh, become champions at that division. And now we're looking at the next wave of champions at 126 for this decade. A lot of excitement with this fight, with these two fights, a lot on the line as uh, we are potentially looking at a collision course between uh, the winners of this fight to possibly uh, later down the line square off for a uh, unification. So we shall see. Take a look at this preview. Saturday, March 2nd from the Turning Stone Resort Casino in Verona, New York, live on ESPN Plus. Featherweight doubleheader as Luis El Venado Lopez takes on Rhea Abe. And in the co feature, Otavik Kolmatov squares off against Raymond Ford. For Raymond Ford, 14 and 0. One draw, seven knockouts from Camden, New Jersey. He is coming off his biggest win of his career as he uh, defeated former world champion Jesse Magdaleno last uh, year in April. Now he squares off against the undefeated Uzbeki Olmatov with a record of 12 and 0, 11 knockouts from Uzbekistan. His uh, biggest win over Thomas Patrick Ward. He was uh, previously unbeaten, stopping him in the fifth round. And he is coming off a eighth round TKO over Bala Makos. And his last fight, that fight taking place in Mexico. As uh, he kept active. I'm going to go with Raymond Ford in this fight. I feel Ford is the more superior fighter. I feel he's going to showcase and display his superior skill over Komatov. Komatov is going to he's gonna bring it. Uh, but it's going to be uh, a case of a boxer, slick boxer, puncher. Going up against a, uh, a slugger. Someone that's going to go for it all. And I'm looking at a uh, decision win for Ford. And in the main event, Rhea Abe of Japan, 25-3-1, 10 knockouts. He defeated former world champion Kiko Martinez in his last fight via unanimous decision, earning him a shot at the title as he gets set for the champ. Luis Alberto El Venado Lopez with a record of 29 and 2, 16 knockouts out of Mexicali, Baja California, Mexico. He has been on a tear since 2020 as the pandemic brought out the best in him, scoring big wins, and uh, he has been on a tear with wins over Isaac Lowe. And won the IBF featherweight title, beating uh, Josh Warrington by unanimous decision, and scored a big knockout last May over Michael Conlon in his first successful title defense. And he is coming off a unanimous decision over Joette Gonzalez this past September in celebrating. Mexican Independence Weekend with a big win. Now he gets set for the third defense of his title. 
I'm taking the always exciting El Venado Lopez in this one. Venado Lopez will uh, come out flashy. He'll come out very fast paced. He's one of these uh, boxer punchers, very herky jerky. He will uh, eventually break down uh, Rhea Abe. Uh, I, I feel it, it's going to be uh, overwhelming for him. He's going to see a lot of uh, high volume punching. Eventually, he breaks down Abe, uh, I want to say later down the fight. But Venado Lopez, definitely uh, one of the exciting fighters in the division right now and one of the exciting fighters in boxing, period. So a lot to look forward to. Uh, I expect a very good 2024 for Venado Lopez.